This first one we're starting right here in our own backyard. I'm sure you've seen in your backyard lots of signs, maybe in your front yard, saluting frontline workers, essential workers, graduates. But we can't forget those kids that might be just graduating third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade, because they're people too. Yeah. And these teachers in Marietta, this teaching team of Mrs. Gold and Mrs. Mullins, decided to do just that. So they teach third grade and sent their students and put in their yard signs that they had ma made congratulating them on their A plus year. How cute is this? They were so excited um, to kind of be included in the way that we seem to be congratulating accomplishments um, this year. And then a sidebar, this is fun intel from producer Danielle. She knows the woman who made the signs, her name's Seema Patel in Marietta. And Seema was saying that they used their own money and this was just out of the goodness of their hearts and they wanted to do something um, to know that their students, to tell their students that they love them and they appreciate them and thank you for this awesome yet yeah, albeit awkward year and it just goes to show you once yeah. again teachers one of the most glorious human beings they're all just making the world a better place so thank you mrs gold and mrs mullins yes. we appreciate you well, Carrie, you know, um, Caroline graduated from fifth grade, so all the teachers just went above and beyond for the Little Morris Brandon fifth grade uh, car parade. But also, like, they sent cards to say, Caroline, we loved having you. Like, they sent Caroline a thank you card. I mean, how thoughtful is that? They sent all their students. I just, and so did a Kate's third grade teacher, Mrs. Daniels. Danica Daniels was incredible. So, yes, thank you to all the teachers for not only what you did during a, a very unusual uh, year. I know everyone hates this word, but unprecedented. Um, but, you know, just for continuing to share the love for these students. I mean, they felt it for sure. Yes, um, I'm so glad that you mentioned that too because special shout out to all the APS teachers. Same thing, James's teacher, Miss Carlucci, we love you. She put a letter in the mailbox from her and Miss Geyer. Um, he has two first grade teachers, and same thing, just kind of commemorating the year. It was so special and saying something, you know, that they liked about each child individually. I think it really, yes. you know, it's going to be something that I'll keep forever in his little scrapbook that I will eventually make when I'm a good <laughs> Right. Is that what good moms do? Exactly. <laughs> I'm, I'm working on it. I'm, I'm working on it. I'm okay. right there with you, honey. Right there. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, thank you. I know we see each other. Um, I mean, this next story is pretty remarkable because I think a lot of us would say that our wedding days were one of the most poignant days of our lives, but it's a little special for this couple because Dr. Carrie Ann Perkins and her now husband, Michael Gordon, they got married in Philly over the weekend, and upon leaving their ceremony, they looked outside and a peaceful protest was going by. So they thought what would be more important Important than in this moment to, in fact, join the protest. So they marched and had what? a peaceful protest on the day of their wedding. I have to say that this will probably be the best wedding album, too. I mean, they had the photographer there capturing it um, just to sort of all of this intersecting together on such a special day in their lives yeah. and then to have it documented. Pretty cool. Um, so congratulations to Dr. Yes. Karen Perkins and her now husband, Michael Gordon. Very neat. I mean, uh, these couples that, you know, still can tie the knot during pandemic, much less what's going on now um, in our country. I mean, it, it's incredible. And the fact that they, they will remember that day for, for even more important reasons than, than just actually sharing their love. I mean, they're trying to unite and, uh, you know, be a part of peace and peaceful movements. Um, you know, I, I did um, the march in Buckhead, it's where we live, and um, it was so great to see just peace, uh, kindness, understanding, uh, communication. It was something um, really that I'll never forget. So, and kudos to them. Uh, and congratulations to them. So, thank you, Ms. Kara Kinnear. And you know what? I love when all the stars align and Kara is in like most of the show. And she is, because coming up next, don't go anywhere. Turn your home into a luxurious spa. That's right, Kara has the top beauty devices that were trending so big during quarantine. She's gonna tell you all about it next.